Angelica's Assistant is the second segment of the 13th episode of the 8th season of Rugrats. And this one's quite delightful. It incorporates all of the babies and also Harold, who was recently introduced, I think, earlier in this season. And it's very busy at Angelica's house, with Harold being there for a play date. And I feel like it wasn't the best time to arrange a play date and look after all of the babies. And Charlotte's usually being good at organising or getting Jonathan to do the organising. I'm surprised that this happened, but I let that slide. The main narrative actually involves Angelica not allowed to be nasty to the babies. If she's nasty or caught being nasty, her mother will take away her Cynthia yacht. And Angelica doesn't want to entertain the babies. She doesn't want to have this play date with Harold. She banishes them to her room at this one point. And there's a pretty great series of um, little bits of animation where the characters are interacting with different things in Angelica's room. But there was a weird moment where Lil is dressed in Angelica's clothes, the classic dress and tights, but Angelica's wearing that outfit. So she must have multiple pairs of the same tights and multiple versions of the same dress, which I thought was maybe an oversight, but it wouldn't have worked with any other outfit. So I guess it's OK. And Angelica seems to be getting closer and closer to to losing it and shouting at the babies. Will she do it? She also learns about an assistant and what they do and you know getting them to do her dirty work. It's, it's a very messy episode. There's a lot going on. It's a bit all over the place. I feel like the narrative tried to do too much, but not in a way that meant it was not enjoyable. I just feel like they could have stripped it back a little bit and kept the focus a little bit more. But other than that, I thought it was pretty decent. Not a bad episode at all. Very well animated. I don't love Harold as a character but I don't dislike him he's quite cute I like the design of the character I think he looks pretty good I also like the fact that he's got quite red hair um as somebody who's naturally red-headed I I'm aware of the fact that usually when there's a redhead in a tv show there's usually one of them you know you have the token redhead and that's what we get with Chucky but bringing in Harold helps to show that actually you can have two red-headed characters on the screen at once and not make a big deal out of it. So it wasn't too bad, very well animated. Definitely a lot going on in this episode, but not in a way that wasn't enjoyable. I just think they maybe maybe they overcomplicated it for themselves. But it was pretty good. Charlotte and Jonathan were good. Charlotte was wearing some different outfits, which was nice to see. Really uh, not a bad episode at all. 